When California's legislative session ends next month, the state's fire insurance drought might not be resolved. In fact, it could result in much higher premiums statewide. KTV's Tom Vakar joins us now from the newsroom with a closer look at the dilemma here, Tom. A dilemma indeed. Uh, insurers want a situation where they can increase rates to offset costs. Here's that story. Insurers want a situation where they can increase rates to offset costs and claims they experience without the many restrictions Prop 103 places on insurers to prove that they need it. Currently, rates are set by looking back at years of lost data and guessing where they're likely to go in the future. But a rash of unforeseen wildfires, climate change, far higher replacement costs, and so on, now makes insurers want to use predictive models to set future rates. All of the models that they had been using to come up with those figures are basically not working anymore. Insurance broker Carl Sussman lives in the world between insurance companies he represents and what they want for coverage and what his customers can afford to pay. What I try and explain to people whenever I have this conversation is that this really isn't politics. This is really just math. But state legislators are getting the full court press from lobbyists to change a 35-year-old law Prop 103 that protects consumers from excessive or arbitrary insurance rate increases. They're going to go for a massive uh, bailout and deregulation of insurance rates and then ramrod it through the legislature in the waning hours of the legislative session. Attorney Harvey Rosenfield, who wrote Prop 103, says insurers are deliberately creating an insurance shortage and panic to gain leverage over the legislature to allow insurers to use self-created computer rate pricing models automatically. That's not allowed by current law. Also proposed, radically change the fair plan. California property owners insurer of last resort when traditional commercial insurers refuse to sell to them. The insurer-controlled fair plan would no longer require insurers pay claims that the fair plan cannot cover. Instead of the insurance companies being responsible, the, the cost would be passed through to every homeowner and renter and condo owner in the state, no matter where you live, in the form of a surcharge. You know, maybe, you know, we're going to have to do some of these things to turn around and, and, and make mm -hmm. some of these changes to get the industry going again. Now, the governor will have 30 days to accept or reject whatever the legislature comes up with, if they come up with anything, by, and that'll be by D, September 14th, and he'll have to decide by October 14th. Back to you. Hey, Tom, does any other state actually have a, you know, a similar plan in action here? Uh, similar to the one that they're proposing, yes. It's called the state of, Clor of Florida, and the problem there is that uh, insurance companies are leaving there in droves. This is a problem that is a, a nationwide problem, but most centered in states that have a lot of disasters, and that's Florida and California and others. And in that situation, the fact is uh, insurers are leaving there just like they're leaving here. Right. So it doesn't seem to be much of an improvement. Tom Vakar, live tonight in the newsroom. Tom, appreciate